far from the spider web position. So this one's gonna be a pretty good one because it just feeds into an escape that we already know, all right? So we already did the hitchhiker from here, which is a good one to do if you're here, okay? This one we should try to do, the one we're about to learn, if we're here, okay? If we end up in this rear naked grip defense that we already, we already learned, we already worked on, all right? Don't try to do this one if you're here because you're, the way you're gonna move is gonna end up extending your arm and kind of giving, them, giving up the game, right? So there's two ways to do this, okay? One way is if you can get their leg off your head using this hand. So that's another reason why it's nice to have this hand in here. A, it's locking down my arm so he can't extend it, and B, it gives me an option to do this, right? To pull his, pull his leg off my head. If I can pull his leg off my head, it makes the move a lot easier, right? I'm just gonna come to here, and then I'm gonna rock up and get my legs through, all right? And then we're just in this escape that we already know, right? Here, pop, 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 all right, come around, yeah? That's the one we did earlier in the week. You guys all remember that one? So you can still do that same thing though, even if you don't get their leg off your head. Sometimes they'll be giving you a lot of downward pressure with this leg and not and pinching their, pinching their thighs together like thigh master, right? Suzanne Summers. And you can't get the leg off the head always. But we can still do the move. It just takes a little bit more work. So you do two steps, okay? You don't want to get perfectly parallel, but you want to kind of get out at a little bit of an angle. And then I'm going to try to kick over and get up to my knees, right? And there's going to be a weird, awkward phase here where you feel like you may not be able to get the move. You just got to keep driving into it and really try to get your knees under you. Once you get your knees under you, you'll be able to come up on top, stack them just like we did before. Put your leg under his butt and then little jerky arm movements. I'll try not to hit you in the groin so much this time. Then once you get your elbow passed, then you know you're out. And then we come around, okay? Again, this side here. So two variations. We're here. If I can get the leg off my head, boom, it makes the move much easier. Oftentimes, you can just kind of rock up at that point because the thing keeping your face down is this leg, right? So once that's off, then you can get up to here. Don't give up the game quite yet because he's going to be trying to put that leg back over the head. Or so triangle. still, or triangle, yeah. So still try to do the proper escape. Right? Don't, don't leave this arm behind and get strangled. The other way, if you can't get the leg off. Okay, so we're going to take the two steps, right? And then we're going to do a big bridge and we're going to try to get our, our legs through. Okay, and then we come up, stack them. You okay, buddy? And then shoulder pressure, pop, 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 jerky, jerky motion with the elbow until the elbow's past his groin. And then we're coming out. You okay? Sorry. <laughs> that one was the worst. I saw in the replay video too, like hitting you in the face. I'm like, ugh. Damn it. Okay. Any questions on that? You want to see it on somebody? No? So do both ways. Okay. First time, pop the leg off your head. Second time, can't pop the leg off your head. Try to walk your feet around, get your knees under you and get up on top. Make sure you're stacking them and doing the escape that we learned earlier in the week once you get to that point. Okay, all right? One, two, three, go.